good. So I'm going to head to Mokina, take care of those arrangements at 9. Uh, and then after that, I'll head out to Will County to the coroner's office uh, to pick that one up and bring it back here. Uh, I know you got pre-arrangements this morning. Yeah, and then we have that one down at the ME in Cook County to pick up too this afternoon. So Yes, yeah, that's got to be priority. That's, uh, so yeah, uh, you'll handle Mokina, yep. Will County. And then I'll be back. Uh, Back here. Time for lunch. There you go. What's for lunch? I got my leftover sub from I yesterday. Got so. All right. We're good. All right. All right, man. I'll see you while. All right. Later. All right. Well, you're, uh, you're ready to go today, huh? Ready. Sweet. <laughs> that was Gary's favorite move right there. Eventually. I think, man. Four dollars. Brand new. Put your foot in the side. It's okay. You just got it, yes? No, I can't. All right, I'm not going to so, focus. Jay, can I ask you a question? Um, I'm just looking online here, and it says, uh, newspaper notice not required by law. Is there a law that you have to have an obituary? Not that I'm aware of, not in the state of Illinois. I mean, I, I, people ask the question often, but I, so I don't know if it used to be, but as far as I am aware, I think I know a decent amount of the legalities of funeral services. I, it's not required. It's not a required uh, expenditure for a family in the state of Illinois. Now, I don't know if it goes for the country. I don't know if that's a different terminology for I mean, different, if, if a death notice in a paper is the terminology we use for death certificates, I don't know. I, I, I can't explain that. I, but it, the question does get asked a lot during arrangements is that, oh, aren't you supposed to, aren't you required to have one of those? And the answer is no. I mean, I, you can't be forced to put something in the paper that you're not wanting to do. Right. I wonder if there's a difference between a death, um, a newspaper notice, and an obituary. My guess is that there is. It only makes sense. I got a phone call the other day, a gentleman, um, I don't remember where he lives from, but he was... Well, yeah, there's, the obituaries and death notices are completely different. Death notices are metropolitan. It's that just a, a notice of somebody's passing, just a name, correct? Well, I mean, no. I mean, what we do here are death notices. When you add a little bit of family information and you put the information about the service of the person that died, mm -hmm. that's a death notice. That's a very metropolitan way of handling it. Obituaries are more like you know, life stories, or you find obituaries in rural areas because you know you're, you're talking about you know four or five people that have died over the course of the last 30 days, as opposed to in the metropolitan area, you're talking about three to 500 people have died in the last 30 days. You know, I mean, it's, so it's a very big difference. Obituaries are more biographies, discussions of people's lives. Mm -hmm. Notice is exactly what it is. It's, it's smaller portion of the obituary section of a newspaper that identifies the person that's passed, gives you some basic family information so that you can verify that that's the same person and that funeral service information. And that, 100% is different across the entire country. I mean, even in here, from even from Chicago to Tilly Park, down to Kanky Key, I mean, there's vast differences of of publications. You know, that's generally what they're worded as publications. A few moments later.
stretcher out and the because we didn't really need it on that last one. This is cool really, right? <laughs> so the carpet comes out then, right? Yeah, the carpet will come out. Show me too. How about it, huh? This is actually 2020. Oh, this is the last year. That's actually all we have. We could have used one of these. <laughs> yeah. This sits up higher, doesn't it? It, it does. does sit up higher. Yeah, it's an XT5. These tires look big. So we only have this in a 19 and 19 sold. So why why are they why do they have this higher? I don't. Well, it's an SUV, so it probably just naturally oh, sits. Yeah, that's because the, they don't make the uh, nope. XTS anymore. Nope. This is this it. This is what they're giving us. It's short too. This is it. Wow. So no more sedans. No less TV. Alright. Yeah, I don't like that. Put them up. You have to get a 19 then. <laughs> they make them a 19, right? <coughs> Higher. Yep. This is what they kind of fought over for quite a while. You know, they didn't know what they were going to build us. Build on us. I gotta say, they're probably going to lose it to Lincoln. Think so? Yeah. That front end. I don't know. The front end just doesn't look normal. It's a little. It's a little funky. It takes a while to get used to it. It looks like a, an SUV. Doesn't look like a yeah. traditional uh, traditional hearse. Yeah, I'm more of a traditional type of guy. But, uh, you know, hey Josh, Amazon's leaving your house again. Imagine that. Imagine, Imagine that. that. Plus, it's an SUV. Mm -hmm. That's what they gave us. <laughs> Quit saying it that way. This is what you got to sell. Yeah, that's this that. is it. right, right. <laughs> It doesn't even look like it hurts in the front end. It actually kind of benefits us, Jake. With our van, you know? Yeah, right. Hmm. Different. I already got these marked out. I don't know. This is the only one we have. Uh, we have a, a black 19 that we think is sold, and that's all we have. Well, that's a good thing. It is. Especially now. Yeah. And we moved up to Lake Zurich, and it's a smaller place. Everything's kind of oh, really? shifted up to John. Careful, please. Careful, careful, careful. That's the front, so you pin it in in the front. Yep. I've got the pin. Oh, you just pin it in this way then? Yeah. I have the pin. John's got it. Yeah. Is that where it's got to go? Um, I'd go, can you go in a little more? Yeah, yeah it's got to be exact. It's kind of a bit of a pain. There you go. Look at that. Is this going to, this ain't going to close though. Oh, you, oh, I think you have to put the front seat up more. Let's see. If, no, there's still room up there, isn't there, Josh? Yeah, go up, room, go yeah. up more because it's not going to yeah, close. Go there. there you go.
What are you guys looking at, Jake? Hmm? What are you looking at? Well, you just gotta, when you use it, you gotta make sure it's pulled away from the side a little bit. Otherwise, if it's up against the side, it gets, it's gonna keep on, you're gonna end up getting marks all in here. So it's gonna be pulled away a little bit so it clears the side. Yeah. That's all. Because it doesn't like lock in in the back. It's, you think they'd have like a. Like well, if you can go up more, you can pin it in in the yeah. back, and I don't know if that would help. Do what now? If you can go up further, I don't know if maybe some people pin it in in the back. Oh, yeah, I see. No, there's no way to... Uh, it, it, that's, that's the furthest one. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, it's going to still... Get a piece of cloth or something. Piece of Velcro? Yeah, that's what I thought. Piece of foam. Those rubber bottoms for the bottom of the cut. Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> you gonna christen this thing or what? What do you know? Huh? Let me in. You want? <laughs> Stand the cat up, maybe? Lay in there? No, 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 wait. See, it doesn't have the rubber on the bottom of that. Where the hell does that go? What's going on? Not much. No? Not busy. How about you guys? Doing all right? It has a strap up front. In the old days, they used to do uh, post cups. I don't know if you remember the post cups. They used to drill. Yeah. Yeah. We used to drop them in there. Yeah. yeah. I remember when. Head of an ocean. They came out and they required there to be some type of flooring in the back of the vehicle. And my dad had like an old <laughs> Dodge. The blue one, right? Yeah, it was like a cargo van. It was before the cargo van. It was like an all-panel van. Yeah. And he put in this wood floor and this rubber, and he had like this rubber coating that he put on top. They were like panels. And then I remember exactly what you just said. They were drilling like boring holes in these, this thick, you know, material yeah. mm -hmm. to put those cup posts in. Yeah. So, so. And then two years later, we ended up buying them. Happy plastic insert things that you throw in there and probably had about 20 of those in my career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They last for a year. Hey, you should ask about the flags. It's the flags are what, they're the ones that sent me the kit. I didn't ever worry about the kit. That never worked. This is the car, huh? This is it. Well, I'll ask him if they've got, if they've gotten any better with them. Yeah, because the they were like sideways. Yeah, oh. yeah, they stick out like this. It was, yeah, it looked kind of cool. And there's no way you can like, because they were telling me you've got to twist them and turn them. And I put them on. I tried putting them on. And they were, I think, the same way. And I called John. He goes, he said he sent you a pair. He took off, which I, I don't know. I didn't see it. I looked at it. I'll call six $6. different ways, and I didn't see it. So you listen to those guys, and they're like, if I ask them, but they, they give me a whole half hour thing of, you know, with, with this machine, we don't have that vendor anymore. By the time I get off the phone call, I don't even know what I, how I talk to them. So I'll see where he's at and see if he's ever got a pair. Because I'll mention your name, and he'll remember, goes, damn it, that's right. I mean, he's, he still hasn't got it. So. Yeah. That'll bug you. Because we put this, we put this on, we're putting this on like a service call, like a person. Like we're using it as a person. Yeah. I mean, I, especially now with the other hearse being in the garage, it's, I mean, we're using it. I've used it out of all Mokini jobs except for one. That's why I, I said this benefits us the way that it looks compared to the new ones, too. I mean, 
they're get, they got rid of that old traditional Cadillac look. Yeah, there's no more sedan. Then, no point to yeah, so it's here. I'll call Steve and he'll see where he's at with those. Yeah, we have the, did you see the logo on the side we had? That etch, kind of like an etched look. Oh, yeah. Instead of putting the... Uh, nice. Plates in there or whatever. Yeah. You need to get the... The... Um, the plates for the hearse done up like how the band of birds written. Yeah, I guess we could take this thing off now. <clears throat> Most people so just leave it on there and just the kind of make it fit the way they, it fits. The hearse, I mean. Yeah, I forgot. That's what it's for. Sweet. Alright. I'll find out about those. Yeah, it's of course. Disappointing whatever. that we don't have them on there. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Everything else works pretty well with it, so we're happy. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Are you gonna tell me then, or what? Are you I, doing? I sent you an email. Oh, okay. All right. I'll look at it and Just send it out then today or tomorrow. Whatever. How's the old man doing? He he's he's really slowing down. Yeah. He still likes to. He, he, He's been doing it so long. He comes in and just like puts his feet up on the chair and stays for like hours. Kind like Jake. Okay. It's just like Jake. You know, I talked to his daughter and stuff. She's like, he, he, he doesn't have any else. This is just all he's ever done. And he likes talking to people like you. He doesn't like doing all the the daily operation stuff. That that he can't. Oh, he's all about reminiscing and yes. kind of bringing over that yes. camaraderie of right. Life. He still likes that. To have him worry about, you know, all oh, this and that, that just drives him nuts. <laughs> but to, for him to go see people and talk is what he likes doing. Well, tell him we said hello. I will. Wish yeah, he said best. say hello, too. Yeah, he's, he's slowing down. It's all right. That's not a bad thing. No, you know? no, no. Now no. you could hopefully get to enjoy a little bit of it, all of his hard work and years. And sure. Yes. All the time spent on the grind. Well, like his, sister, his daughter said, he needs to get some hobbies, but uh, we can get all, all, all of those. What? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let all right. I'll call Steve and I'll call you back. All right, Thank John. You. Thanks, man. Take care. Good seeing you. Yeah. Be well. Be safe. Thanks for bringing it down. No problem. Good to see you. Even like that. And all I did was stand up. Right, sure. This is what you want to hear. You're stronger than me. You're proud of me. Better looking. That's arguable. I don't know. I don't know about that. Alright, I think it's uh, so record record uh, BS calls today because that's my fourth one. He had a 10 I made in a row. Josh only gave us three in a row. Really? Yeah. No, you missed. That was. Oh, that was. Oh my! You're horrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my Lord. You didn't make one. I made one. So this morning here, uh, we have some of the urns that uh, came in. So I am just going to be starting to fill. Some of these smaller urns, these are the keepsake urns. Small version of the um, larger urn. It's called a keepsake. This would be a standard size urn that could fit uh, all, of, all of the remains of uh, somebody who passed. Uh, this one as well, different, uh, different style. It's one more full size urn. And this one is another full size urn. It has a cap on it here. These are uh, these are urns that would be placed in a um, house typically. Um, you, you can bury them, but uh, you would need a, a vault at the cemetery. 
for these kind of urns. This is another keepsake urn in here. So what we do here as well is they come with little small bags. So you would place the cremains inside the urn in a baggie. That way if it ever drops or anything like that the cremains will not go all over the place. It will stay in this little bag. How was your day at the firehouse? Uneventful. A little live fire training. Twice yesterday. Feeling better? You were sick. I need to call off. So. Yeah, I had uh, in a black coma. Oh, that's, that's a funny one. Do you like that one? What kind, of, what kind of fragrant are you wearing today? You smell extra fruity, extra just, old uh, spice ish. Just old spice body wash and deodorant. Old spice, old spice deodorant? Yeah. yeah. I think it's called Aqua Reef. Aqua Reef, huh? I'm going to see you guys later. What are you going there for? What are you going there yeah. for? What, why are you going there now? Eight o'clock in the morning. I like to start work. Yeah, well, I, I can't do anything because my kids are going to be here in a little bit. Are you going to do I'm ripping that bush out in the back. The brush by the light. Not bad. And then off the scotch, I'm going to be there at one. One? Uncle Scott coming for garage sale. You guys are doing a garage sale there? No. Picking up something. So, Ben's coming at three. And we got a fire pump test today at one. 
This week that he's going to get on video working. Everybody uh, thinks that Gary is not retired. He's a hard worker. Ask him when he's buying me for lunch. Lunch today. Do you remember you owe him lunch, right? Yeah. I'm not worried about it. What are you trying to say? You're sure. sober at that point still? Yeah. What do I owe him? <laughs> oh my god. I don't even want to be around for any of that. <laughs> that is just going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> Look at him. He's Trump. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, he knows that death is around the corner. He just doesn't know when it's going to happen. The Grim Reaper will set in. Yes, sir. What happened to the Hawks team last night? They lost it. They lost it too. Six, 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 three. Oh my god. Red Sox won. What a trouncing. Play tomorrow night. They were down 2 nothing with a minute in the end of the game. Yep. Like 45 seconds into the game. Crawford just looked terrible. Oh, really? Yep. What gave that away? Six goals. What gave that away? Six goals. The two goals. You looked like about as good seconds. as your uh, beanbag game on Saturday. Oh yeah, yeah. it's a good one, Mike. Really bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Peace. See ya. You're leaving already. Come out. You used to sing it all the time when you were a little boy. Now that you're a big boy, you know it's. Oh, you're too like cool. Likes to listen to cool shows, man. <laughs> what? Get out of there. <laughs> Poppers. I see a lot of poppers. Yeah, I, I know you do. <clears throat> yeah, if you're good, maybe I'll get you a box. Depends. Just depends. Star Wars, man. Star Wars, man. Star Wars, man. Did you already have a nap this morning or no? What? What? Jeez. Oh, ah, boom. A ah, boom. See how you barely have to touch it like that? You notice that? Hmm? 
Are you like first turn? Are you good? I'll put the hole. Put the ball. Oh, that's in. Get in there. Yeah, you did that by yourself, dude. All right. First thing you do, put your leg a little bit. Close. Good ball. Are you Are you okay? 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 Are you we fly home. Flies are not a good thing at a funeral home. And it's a problem you have when the doors open and close. And clearly in the summertime, they're always trying to come in a cool place. So as you can see, tip number one for hunting flies, turn the lights off. Open up the drapes. They love to go by the sunlight. Close the doors. Next is your technique. You want to get low, center of gravity. There he is. You don't see him by the window? Go get him. And you got to get, it's a quick hinged action. You don't want to get wound. You don't need a lot of force to hit a fly down, right? So it's got a quick hinge. There he is. Snap of the wrist, whack, whack. Do you yes. play tennis? I do. I have tennis elbow, oh. so no. Fly elbow. Yeah. Yeah. Taking advantage of the, uh, the nice weather today. Not too hot, not too sunny. Uh, pulled the old 73 out of the garage. Got it here. Shining it up for a service. Shining it up for a uh, yeah, service. Unfortunately, it's not shining because it's matte finish. Uh, you got the uh, you got the uh, the host here going going to town drying it off, really giving it hell, um, you know, just getting it ready for uh, whatever may come its way, big big ride tonight with the pro cars, maybe uh, maybe Jake will grace us with his presence and come on, come on out and you should be so lucky, visit with the guys, I, I know, I know, we're, we're opening our, we're opening our, uh, our house to you. Um, yeah, just kind of taking advantage of a little bit of downtime before our services that we have going this weekend. And, uh, just like to get out, 
think outside the box a little bit and uh, keep things going. It looks like we got Josh over there giving a quick uh, quick hosing down to the front of the building. How's that going, Josh? Hey, Josh, you forgot to wash off the back of the truck from the hearse. Um, so yeah, that's it, you know? To where? Where's that? Oh yeah. Everybody knows your name. Sounds good. Oh, you got your own lunch. You got your lunch today. Yeah. It's a gas station lunch. I bought a sandwich at a gas station on the way in. Yes, yeah, so I'm open to anything. Sure, we'll stay for tomorrow with all the preserves and stuff. <laughs> Ooh, that. This drop, I mean, yeah, it's not really at any point in flying at all. No, it's just gonna. Now I can't imagine it spaces out. Hey, can we, can we focus on one task at a time? Uh, there might be one in the closet. The cleaning closet here? Yeah, one of the two. Huh? Hmm? How about how do you think about taking these things out? Take them out. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be sitting in the back. That's your anti-theft device, sir. I can assure you nobody's going to get in that car while it's running. <laughs> Ooh, I just came up with that all by myself. Just like, just like that famous quote on the A-Team. I don't know if any of you remember that show from back in the 80s, but one quote that was always said was, I love it when a plan comes together. And this is coming together, baby.